What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add bezels to your vintage collection build using the bezel project. Stay tuned. Welcome to the hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install bezels for your vintage collection build using the bezel project. It's pretty simplistic. If you haven't installed bezel project on Windows before, go ahead and check the top right hand corner of your screen. Um, I've already done a tutorial video on how to do this with MAME slash Arcade HQ. Uh, basically, Arcade HQ runs off of MAME and we've installed bezel project for that. So let's go ahead and get this installed for Vintage Collection. So once you have the bezel project installed, you're going to want to open it up. We're going to hit OK, and we'll hit OK. Uh, we want to hit Preferences. And for the last time, we used the native MAME install directory, and we set that up. This time, we're going to use the Rocket Launcher install directory. So we're going to want to hit Select, and we're going to want to go to H, and we're going to want to go Vintage Collection, Rocket Launcher, and then we're going to hit OK. Just like that. I like to use a themed bezel, but you can also choose System Art if you so choose. It's up to you. We'll hit Save. And then we're going to go to number one. Download, uninstall, update bezel pack. We're going to click Process Rocket Launcher. We're going to hit OK. And you're going to want to do whatever systems you have installed for Vintage Collection. So for me, you can see what I already have installed. But if you want, you left click on the first one. And if you want to choose more, hold Control on your keyboard. And then left click all the other systems that you want to install. We'll hit the arrow and come on down. Quite a few systems for vintage collection <laughs> uh, and, and still growing. Okay, that's all of them. So you would hit OK here. It's going to download and extract everything for you automatically. Mine is asking update, uninstall, or I can cancel, which I will. Uh, once it installs, just let it go. It's going to take a bit because it's just going to download, then it'll extract itself where it needs to be. So I'm going to hit cancel on mine, but yours you would just let it go. And when yours is all done, you will be brought back to this screen. You just hit exit. Now we're going to go into our Vintage Collection folder. Vintage Collection. We're going to go into Rocket Launcher. Rocket Launcher UI, and we're going to launch it up. And we just need to change one setting. It's very easy. So over on the left tab, I am on global. This is where we want to be. We also have these keys here, these tabs. So we're going to want to go over to bezel and make sure under bezel enabled, it says true. So if you're set to false, make sure you change this to true. And now we can close Rocket Launcher. Now we'll go and start up Vintage Collection. And I'll go to Master System. Uh, what is this? Alex Kid in Shinobi World. We'll launch it up. And now we have bezels. So I'll back out of that one. And I'll test uh, one more. I'll test Genesis. Let's go to Altered Beast. Awesome. So there is the bezels within Vintage Collection. I can't say that it covers every single game. Um, I'm not a part of the bezel project. I'm a huge fan. I take my hat off to them, everyone involved. It's a phenomenal project. Um, but it it should cover majority, if not all, of the games that you have in your vintage collection build. 
So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.